What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are in the San Bernardino forest right now. We just stopped at a lookout. Look at this view of the beautiful San Bernardino County. <laughs> what? Pow! Got the Chevy all loaded up guys. Got my snowboard, got a couple of sleds, got a shovel. We just come up here on a whim because we didn't know if there's gonna be much snow or not, but hopefully we can find a little patch of snow. Probably not gonna hit Big Bear Resort because all the lift passes were sold out for today but definitely keen to just explore and check out what Big Bear has to offer. There's yeah. a here too, look. Yeah. <laughs> the National Park, people are glittering. Have some respect, mate. Trying to find like a hill with a bit of snow. There's some over here. The gate's closed, so we can't get in. We're gonna have to find somewhere else to go in. So on our journey we go. Driving in this car, it's been amazing. It's like sitting in your lounge room. Like, look at me. Look at that. I can just, you know, it's like sitting in a, a recliner. Really comfortable car. We just pulled into Big Bear. We're gonna check out the lake, and then we're gonna try to find a little hill or something. Maybe do some sightseeing. I didn't think there'd be this much snow up here because it hasn't snowed up here in like two weeks, but fair amount of snow. Like usually in Australia, if it doesn't snow for two weeks, it's like dry. But up here, the snow seems to kind of last a bit longer. Plus we only had to drive like an hour. Usually we're driving like four and a half hours to get to the snow. So pretty crazy. Careful, you might slip over. <gasps> Stop, that's not nice. So we're out here at Bear Mountain. We found a little spot off the beaten path. We're just building a little kicker here. Decent amount of snow. The sun is going down, so the snow is getting quite icy. But um, I think we still got like another hour of daylight before the sun sets. So we're gonna try to have a fun little session here. I might even take this sled off the jump. What do you guys think? Doing a great job, thank you. <laughs> Keep up the great work. This is for me. Uh, you gonna jump it? A little bit of a winter wonderland out here, guys. Really fun. Last time I was at the snow was about four or five months ago. Now I'm at the snow in the Northern Hemisphere, so I never get to kind of snowboard this quick in between. It's usually we'll ride in July, August, September, then have to wait to the next year. Yeah, it doesn't need to be that big, because if it's super big, it'll be too big for the space. You know, geometry. I'm 
Yeah, guys. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Just coming off the uh mountain or hill right now guys had a pretty fun session even though I uh, didn't get to ride much still had to have a little bit of fun on the hill got some sledding done got some snowboarding done just packing up the car now we're gonna head down hopefully get a bite to eat and then head down to Redlands power plant it's a vegan all vegan restaurant so we're about to do that right now just got to get my wet weather gear off my snow gear off Karina got freezing cold her feet were freezing and her hands and stuff because she didn't wear the right appropriate snow attire and she was teasing me because I got out the car put my snow boots on put my snow pants on bunch of people coming off the hill we just came down sledding down that street gutted the absolute guts out of my board on the road just now but that's all right another wax should be good I've had this board for like four or five years now so definitely due for another Look at all that space guys. My board's laying completely flat down. Got two sleds, a shovel and a skateboard and there's still room for more. How's that for size? Like I said before guys, in Australia it's about a four and a half hour drive to the mountain. It's definitely not a short trip. We've just driven an hour and a half up the mountain here and we've hit snow. So I'm super grateful to have this opportunity. Just be able to drive up, grab my snowboard out of the boot, grab my shovel and just hike the mountain and have fun. It's been awesome. I mean, California, like where else in the world can you skate, surf and snowboard all in the same day? Imagine if I did that in the video where I was like, I'm going to surf in the morning, skate midday and then snowboard in the evening. That'd be crazy. I've been hooked on these for the past couple of weeks out here, guys. It's a Kavita kombucha, pineapple peach, rad. Probably my second favorite drink compared to the uh, Bundaberg ginger beer. So make sure you try this one out and it's oh, good for nice. your stomach. Brisk has too much sugar. This is supposed to be, kombucha is supposed to be like if you're trying to cut sugar out of your life, get a kombucha. Made it. Plant power, fast food, Redlands. A bit of a line. All right, we've secured the bag, guys. What do we have? We have uh, filetto fish for Karina. I got the Big Zac, which is like a vegan Big Mac, some fries. Got this cookies and cream milkshake, and yeah. Hi, welcome back to the channel. 
It's me, Karina. It's only mandatory. To this share. is it, guys. The Igbe Axe, otherwise known as the Big Zack. It's even stacked like a like a, a Big Mac, if you guys can see. Big. Check it out. Can't really see. There we go. One bite. Everybody knows the rules. It's good. Another California road trip done and dusted. Having a lot of fun traveling around to all these places. If you guys know anywhere else that's sick that I could drive to, let me know. Leave a comment below. I've definitely put this car through its paces. We've taken it out to the desert. We've taken it up the mountains. So yeah, it's been quite reliable and trusty. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making this video. I had a lot of fun up at Big Bear. Definitely keen to head back once there's another snowdrop. Hopefully I can get a lift ticket, check out Big Bear Resort. That'd be dope. But yeah, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe, drop me a comment, leave me a like. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at enarchism to keep up with what I'm doing. Post a lot of behind the scenes stuff on my story. Be sure to comment below what other things I can go to visit and road trip to in California. But yeah, once again, guys, thank you for watching the video. Hopefully I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers.